Hello, Greg from Balloon Markets here and welcome to BMTV. Okay, a few things this week. Going to start with new products. Now the first new product we've got is the confetti shooter. We have had a confetti popper before. I think it was a bit smaller and um, they stopped making them. So we've had to get these new ones in. It feels quite solid. It feels quite heavy. So I think there's probably a lot of confetti in there. We're selling these individually. Um, so you can have as few as you like, one, two, three, or if you want to save yourself a bit of money, you can get a better rate on them if you buy a box of 24. So down on the site now, you can go ahead and order them. We have foil blowouts. Now these are the traditional noisy ones, not the parent friendly ones that we've already got. So these come in tubs of 72. Um, you can't buy these individually, you've got to buy the tub of 72, but again, they're in stock now, good to go. Now, a few balloons. Henry Huggle Monster, have you ever heard of him? I'd never heard of him um, until somebody phoned up a few weeks ago and said, have you got a Henry Huggle Monster? And we said, no, no idea who he is. So we looked into it, um, Amscandu, uh, a balloon, Henry Huggle Monster balloon. So we got those in. Looks like it's a preschool character. So my girls are obviously past preschool now, so I, I didn't know who he was. I watched Paw Patrol, by the way, at the weekend. And uh, I know Amscan is saying Paw Patrol is going to be the next big thing. And I, I think it probably is now, having watched it. It was really, really good for a preschool program. I really quite enjoyed it. Anyway, I've not got any Paw Patrol stuff here, but we may well do that in the future. The next balloon, Kaleidoscope, I have got, I think I've shown you this one before. It's the happy birthday done in the POW style. And um, I just really like it, but we've got these in stock. I think we, I showed it to you when we had some samples from, from Kaleidoscope, from APAC. Um, and we've, we've got that in stock now. Speaking of APAC and Kaleidoscope, our next manufacturer interview is with John Penn from APAC. So he's going to come in, he's going to tell us a bit more about uh, the business and their relationship with the company in Mexico, the size of the uh, factory in Mexico. You would not believe how many balloons they actually manufacture in a month. Go on, have a guess. I'm not going to tell you, but um, we'll find that out in the manufacturer interview. So that's probably going to be in the next couple of weeks, so keep your eyes out open for that. Um, now, the last of the balloons that I want to show you, these are the Quick Link balloons. Now, a few weeks ago, or a couple of weeks ago, I showed you the Star Wars one. Um, these are basically the banner balloon packs. They've got 10 Quick Links in there, they're printed, and they've got the sticky tabs that you stick on the ceiling or stick on the wall. Um, these are the licensed ones that we've just had in. So we've got Mickey, we've got Minnie, we've got Disney princesses, and of course, we have frozen. Now the last new product I want to show you is this big boy. Now this is a post box in case you didn't realize. I'm going to show you the real height of it first. We've got it on a box so you can see it but it's actually that's how that's how tall it is just to give you an idea. Um, now what are these for? Well people um, at weddings quite often they have been, when they get married, they've been living together for a long time so they've got all the knives, the forks, the plates, the spoons, whatever. They've got all that. Um, so they just ask for money at their wedding. So you don't want to put envelopes full of money on a table at a wedding. So you hire something like this and you put the envelopes in there. And that's what this is. So we did some research when we were looking at getting these in. And we found that you can hire ones about that size, table standing ones, for about £60 for a day. So this is obviously much bigger. It's metal. It's decent quality. And um, yeah, you could hire that out two or three times and it will have paid for itself if you're hiring it out for £60. I personally think you could hire that out for more because it looks like a traditional um, post box. I think you could probably hire that out for £90, £100 maybe. Who knows? You'd have to give that a go. But anyway, I'll show you that it's got a clasp on it. It comes with a, a little um, padlock there. But it's got the clasp. Put the padlock on there. And there you go. It's also got these slots. It's got a slot there, you'd say, I don't know, Paul and Erica's wedding and the date. They could create something themselves, or if you wanted to create that as part of the service, you could do that. And then you could put something in there, next collection. Or you could put in next delivery nine months from now. Hey, clever. So, uh, yeah, we've got that in white as well as red. Didn't show you the white one just because it's a white background. You probably wouldn't see it very well. So there you go. They are in stock available right now. Okay, now they're all the new products. I just want to quickly show you where we're up to with these. These are the 14 inch air filled North Star balloons. Uh, as you may know, we've sold these flats, so unpackaged for quite a while. Um, but now, because of demand, we are moving over to the packaged versions. Now, there's a few benefits to the packaged versions. They have, the, well, the retail packaging, so you can sell them in a shop very easily and hang them up on the wall. Um, but they also have a straw to inflate them, 
and the straw becomes a stick. And don't forget these balloons also have valves in them so you don't need to heat seal them. So it's an all-in-one package really. Uh, I just thought I'd show you which ones we've got in stock already that are packaged. We will be moving the whole range over to packaged as I say because um, demand is, is there for the packaged ones over the unpackaged ones. So once we've got the ones that are unpackaged finished then we're just replacing them. So they're the ones we've got at the moment. Now a couple of weeks ago I mentioned how we're always trying to improve the, the website, we're always trying to optimize, always trying to make your experience better um, and so we've done that again. Um, we now accept PayPal. It's exactly the same as if you go through the checkout any other time except instead of just having the credit card uh, facility available there you've got PayPal right underneath it. So if you do use PayPal in your business I know a lot more people are using PayPal in their business. Long gone are the days when it was just a, an eBay purchase sort of payment method. Um, um, lots of people are using PayPal now so we're accepting it as well so if you do like to use PayPal for your business and you do use it on a regular basis there you go you can pay by PayPal okay now I think because this confetti shooter is brand new I think we should let one off it does say they're for outside use only but we're in a we're in a, uh, a big room and um, well I am a trained professional after all so uh, we're, we're going to give that a go but I'm going to say bye now just in case it all goes horribly wrong. So from me, have a great week. See you next week. Bye. Oh, blimey. That was cool. That was really loud, man. That's good, isn't it? That, that is impressive. Where's the top gone? So, okay, this week I would like to talk about Star Wars, if you hadn't figured that out. This is Jonathan. Jonathan is the latest of the Star Wars Airwalker range by Amscan. And as you can see, he's quite impressive. He's, I'm six feet tall and he is 5'10", 5'11", and he's been around a few weeks now. And really popular, I have to say, he's going down a storm, trooper, yeah. Hats are really have always been a real big staple of making balloons. A quick, easy way to put anything on to anybody. Um, but if it's a child and they put it on, it can pull their hair. Even adults, they can pull their hair. Yeah. Children will cry. And this is a way to keep the balloons away from the eyes and ears. If it pops, it's not going to harm you. And it's an easier way to wear them. All right, I'm going to try and put this on, but I've got to duck down to keep it in shots. Okay, ready? How does that look? Is that good?